Hey guys, girls, and legionnaires, Rakon here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Noah's Tale, episode 29. Now, last episode, we spent a decent amount of time working on our clothing, doing a little bit of work on the vehicles, and having a sort for our guns, and realizing we really don't have the correct ammunition for the guns that we have. Now, I was thinking about leaving the ammunition here last time, but I think it might be worthwhile bringing it along with us. You know, at least storing it in the vehicle because at the end of the day, if we pick up some guns, we want to be able to use them. So we're going to come back into here and make sure that we take all that ammunition with us. Because, uh, yeah, otherwise, no good. I am tempted to bring one of these shotguns with us. We're going to take the... No, we're not going to because the destination area is full. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We'll take it now. Good backup weapon. Keep that in our hands. And we spotted the zombie child. It's pretty close now by the looks of things. Okay, we're dropping that. And all this other ammunition. Back down there. Great. Now, I am tempted, because we are still using the Ruger so much, to use one of the sights that we have for it. The holographic sights. Because it can be used on pistols as well. And... Really, I'm not seeing why not right now. Let's see what else we have down there, actually. So the gyroscopic stabilizer, yeah, it will save all those other things. But the holographic sights, I think, I think I'm okay to use one of those now, actually. So let's come over here, grab one of those holographic sights. Let's try and activate it on, and I'm going to need to use my holster first. There we go. Great, we're text the holographic sight to our, our Ruger Redhawk. Let's holster that again. Put that back away. Oh, that's removing. Whoops. Activate the holster. Put away the gun. There we go. Much better. Okay, we're just about set to head out. I think we might have to deal with the zombie child. Let's see how close they are. Yeah, they're close enough that we're going to have to deal with them now. Let's get that nude archie out. This is going to ruin Noah's day. We feel remorse. Well, in that case... Are we actually feeling pain? Like, is that physical pain from that? Because I don't think it hit me. Interesting. Hmm. The other good news that I didn't actually cover last time is that we're actually we're fully healed now as well. Which is a nice change. Well, sheath that. And we're just going to eat some things. Hmm. I think we might actually need some more food. Good to take some backup. Just in case, we don't know how long we could be gone for. Okay. You know what? Let's take that, that, and that. And even the pickle. The pickled herring. And let's fill up. Ah, oh, I guess it's already full. Let's drink from that then. Alright. Just gonna dump those in there for now as well. Keep the corn out. Yeah. Okay, let's get this vehicle going. And it fails to start. And there we go. On the road again. Now we are going to detour past the cave just to see what kind of cave it might be and what kind of horrors may await us down there 
I always find caves interesting. That's why. Okay, I think we should be able to duck down now. Yep. We still want to avoid the uh, evacuation shelter. Damn. Oh, I was just going to say, really good work at avoiding everything so far, Noah, but I guess the coyote was actually kind of asking for it in a way. So we've got a zombie cop down there. And a zombie. Well, he was asking for it. This is where we did a lot of our killing, but we actually did butchering here as well, so they won't have been able to come back. Okay. Let's actually just go around the outside of this for now. Looks like it's going to be a little bit easier. And there's our road. And there's a wasp. It's really trying to come for me. Suicidal. Yeah, we'll leave it in the dust. Jawed Terror. Ooh. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> oh, like a shark. No way. A once aggressive and hungry bull shark. This jawed terror is now even more aggressive. Possibly thank Possibly thanks to its lack of a functioning brain. It's a zombie shark. Awesome. <laughs> and it's hostile. It's trying to come for us, but um, thankfully I don't think that they can come onto land. Yep, you stay in the water there. Jeez, okay. That really doesn't make me want to go swimming. Zombie sharks, it's no good. Okay. Yeah, we're going to take that detour. We're going to go and see, we're going to go and see this cave. So, we should be able to just head over this way for a little bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, crap. What have I done? What have I done? I didn't even see it. This is a fungaloid. We're going to turn away from that as fast as I can. I hope that was the only one in the area, but that often isn't the case. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Turning around, turning around. Getting the hell out of here. If we haven't already been exposed to it, we would be exposed any second now. So we just need to hope that we haven't. Otherwise, we will be rushing to get to a hospital to try and save Noah's life. We'll find out soon enough if she has been infected, though. I'm sure it will be more than happy to tell us. Okay, alright. Oh, damn it. We can't really afford to ram through them, just because this vehicle isn't built for that. So let's activate that sheath. Let's get nice and close here. Let's get ready to do some slaying. You know what, we need some music, don't we? Ah, uh, the MP3 player's dead. Oh well. <laughs> We're going to be feeling a lot of remorse today. Okay, we're getting hungry, I have that tin can, let's get butchering. Okay, let's sheath up again, and let's move. Just keep driving straight. Okay, we can start to turn now. Looks like we've got some more ahead. Try and avoid them if we can. I checked that out last time, didn't I? Yeah, diesel tank was damaged. Okay, so that's the gun shop. I'm gonna try and park the vehicle up here. Oh, jeez. Hello. 
I think he actually just exploded. Yeah, he did. Okay. Now there's not too many of them here so far, so I think we're actually going to try and... I think we're actually going to try and fight them. And I need to get that damn... Tanto. Tanto. Um... No, Archie. That's what I was thinking. We smashed them. And we actually upgraded our bashing skill to three at the same time. Nice job. Okay. I think we might have some time to do some butchering. Luxury. Stop butchering. Yes. Okay. It's going to grab us. That's okay with me. We're pretty well protected. Oh, sh shit. I actually thought that was my house alarm then. <laughs> I was looking around behind me thinking, what the hell is going on? That was a good sound effect. Um, damn it. So, that wasn't me. But the southeast is the gun store. God damn it. That's just going to draw them from friggin' everywhere now. That's because they're in here. Son of a bitch. Not good. Okay, we need to move. <laughs> we need to try and get down to that garage. We're going to take a little bit of a wider berth around here. Okay, gas station. That's potentially very useful. We've got a Migo down to the southeast. We've got a zombie brute down to the south. We've got a hell of a lot of stuff going on over there. So this is the garage. That's where we want to get to. Okay. I would love to be able to fill up on some gas at the same time, but I guess that's not going to happen. But we are going to run down here. Oh, damn. Here they come. Okay. Screw it. We're going to smash it. Okay, well, we made it inside. That's the main thing. But they're going to make it inside too. So, I'm getting ready to fight. Oh, damn. Okay, alright, that is a shocker who is going to try and kill us. So I need to be ready to get my Ruger out. You know what? If they're just going to dick around... I'm going to grab what I can. Solar cell. I'll grab it. Why not? Copper tubing. Another acetylene torch. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Step out of the electricity. Let it pass. More pl just pliers, 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 pliers. Okay, keep moving down. Doesn't look like there's a hell of a lot else in here, unfortunately. Which is really disappointing. I just want some bloody goggles. Uh, they could be up there, but there's a hell of a lot of bad things coming for us. So we're just gonna... We're gonna run. And there's a feral predator. That's cool. What else is around us that could potentially help us? Gas station. Definitely helpful. Hmm. That's a pain. That's a real damn pain. Police station. I doubt there will be anything that we need in there. And you're a corrosive zombie. You do not look good. Okay, alright. We're gonna start running. <laughs> Oh damn. Oh damn. Start running, start running. <laughs> oh, there's so many swimmers. Holy crap. Okay, abort, abort, abort. <laughs> there are no goggles here. Well, they're just the goggles or, or, or a wrench, you know? <laughs> Either I'd be okay with. Let's quickly duck into here. 
Who knows, we could find something interesting. And another alarm. That's interesting. It's the feral predator. Mmm. <laughs> Shit. I don't know if I want to fight this thing with the Nodachi. I think I'm going to want to use the... Oh shit, it's right here. Okay. Far out. Okay, it tried to penetrate us. But it failed. Okay, stop aiming. Yes. Oh, damn it, it got us. Oh, crap. Okay, alright, that's not good. Do I have time to use a first aid kit? Let's try. No, 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 no. Stop using first aid, yes. Shit. Not good. We need to use that first aid. And I've just put myself into a corner. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. <laughs> this has gone from bad to worse. So many noises. I could just say ignore. Um, how long is this taking? Okay, we stopped the bleeding. But it sounds like there is more trouble outside this door. So we're going to reload this Red Hawk. Oh, actually, we're okay. Well, let's, let's continue to loot the place for now. Energy Cola, we'll take that. Um, we're pretty much just going to get back to the vehicle and go. Well, I thought there was going to be so many more here, but... Well, yeah, there they are, but... <laughs> I thought they were going to be right in my face. I got lucky in that regard. Okay. Alright, back up here again. Hmm. Even if that just worked for a second, I could drive it through this here. Could smash it through, but the battery's not working, and they're... Yeah, no, that sucks. Yeah, it's missing its wheels. I just want to check. But I'm pretty sure that we need the goggles. Yep, need welding goggles to do that. Uh, that's... That's a pain in the ass. Um, I... We might be able to get through those bars. I'm just wondering if a shotgun would be enough to blast through that. I don't know if it is. But there's one way to find out. <laughs> Experimentation with Noah. It's what we do. And hello. Let's, um, let's actually try and drop some items off even though he's right there and could try and kill us at any moment. Okay, all right. There we go. Let me continue. Before we're so rudely interrupted. Okay, all right, let's activate the sheath. Let's take some things out. Let's grab you, and let's grab that Saiga. No. Let's stand nice and close. And see what we get. Didn't seem to do much. Let's try another shot. Nope. Damn it. Well, so far this mission has not been successful. We're going to need to get back into here and go. But I think we're going to need to take care of those first. So we're just going to have to drop that for now. Yes. Okay, lots of them are coming. Oh, there's actually under the hood there. Here they come. Come on, start up. Terrible clanking sound. No. 
Starts up. Good. Reverse. Oh, damn. Good work, tractor. Good work. Ooh, all right. It's earning its wage today, even though I don't pay it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We are going to continue on down, uh, but unfortunately, we're going to have to go through some of these guys to get to where we want to go. And I'm just going to have to hold on to that Saiga for the time being. Uh, shit. We're going to be able to turn in time? Yes, I am, because I managed to get the handbrake on. Speed up. Here we go. Looks like that Migo has killed a decent amount of the dead around here. Although it itself might be dead. I'm not seeing. Oh, and these are lab coats. Alright, I think we got <laughs> I think we got a moment. Let's very quickly chuck that back in. Oh damn, where the hell did you come from? Shit. Scared the crap out of me. Okay, I need to get close to you. Okay. What I'm looking for here... Very quickly... Anti-glare compensator CBM. Essentially sunglasses. And it's right in front of my car. We'll try and grab that. Okay, we'll try and grab that as well. Um, just up from us. But what I'm after is a card. Science ID cards. There we go. We've got some. Up there. Okay. All right. I'm going for it. Hazmat suit. No, we won't worry about that. Okay. All right. So, first things first, we're going to run down here. We're going to come over here. Try and grab that. That's going to make us over encumbered. Shit. And the rest of them are coming. Okay. We're going to run. I'm going to grab those ID cards. Just the one. There's a glass vial of purifier. We're going to take that. I swear there's more ID cards around. Yeah, it's just not showing exactly where they are. Ah, oh, okay. We can go through like that. Okay. There's one over there as well. We can handle this. This is this is not that many of them. I shouldn't be freaking out. You know what? I just need to use that on him. Shit. And now I'm going to have to use it on him. Now that he's closer. Okay. Not good. He's going to blow any second now. Okay, back away from the toxic glass. <laughs> toxic glass? Toxic gas. Okay, alright. I need to make sure we're running. Now, it wasn't this one, but that is something I'd like to use. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> so many. All of them we can handle, though. That um, feral runner, mm, questionable. Let's stand our ground. Let the swimmers come. Damn it! Ripped up hack. That's okay. We are almost out of breath. Oh, 105 damage. Make sure that we're not running. I'm going to come back in here and drop everything I can that we don't need. Like, I shouldn't be carrying that. Actually, I shouldn't be carrying either of those now. It's okay, no, it's gonna be okay. You know, we'll even drop that in there as well. Alright. Now, where was I? 
Grab that. Where was the other one? Up here. And that will do it. We kicked ass! We really did. We just took out like... At least... Nine or eight... Summer zombies in one go. Not a bad effort, Noah. We got some CBMs from it as well. Bionics, which we might be able to use in time. We'll see. But for now, we just need to get the hell out of here. So let's have some aspirin. Let's have some vitamins. And you know what? Let's drop that purifier down there as well before I accidentally use that. The purifier is what we can use to remove... Uh, well, it, you, it removes mutations, so these long fingernails, for example, it might remove those. It might even remove some of these other things that we have in here as well, um, these negative ones. But it could also, you know, get rid of positive ones as well, like the fleet-footedness that she has. Y you never know, really. Um, oh, what the hell just happened? Um, ah, okay. I was very confused. I saw speed go, like, 95. That was me running, because I hadn't actually started the vehicle yet. Just a small moment of confusion. I'll leave them be. So, oh no, the Miko is around still somewhere. It's just moved on. Looking for prey elsewhere. I don't know why I came back down here, actually. We need to go out to the side. Yeah. And look at all those swimmers. Holy crap. Each pool seems to spawn about 20 of them. But luckily, they, well, I mean, they're not wearing armor, they're just wearing swimsuits, so they're pretty easy to take care of. Um, even for someone who is not as equipped as Noah is, you can still kind of take care of them. Now we could go into that lab, and I'm almost tempted to do that, because we could just loot the top level of it. Hmm. Hmm. You know what, let's go. Let's go. We aren't going to go deeper. I say that to myself all the time. Um, actually, I've just gotten turned around somehow. The hell is going on? And we're getting attacked by a giant worm. I did see it there. I was just trying to avoid it. <laughs> Damn. Okay. It shouldn't be able to get us on the concrete. Let's park up. It's actually it's actually getting late, um, so I need to be wary of that. We do want to try and make it to the uh, refugee center before Noah actually calls it a night. It sounds like they're fungaloids to the northeast. Okay, that's not cool. Let's open this up, see what we got inside. It sounds like there is movement. I'm going to be very cautious here. We're just going to peek around the corner. Okay. So far, so good. I'm just going to close these up behind me as well. And you know what? We're going to actually activate our holster, reload, and just have this in hand. Holy crap, we're hearing a lot of smashes. The, the Shogoth flows around the objects on the floor, and they are quickly dissolved. Wow, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's deeper down. Things like that, usually. And it looks like we've got goo pits in here. Yep. And there'll probably just be... more goo in the fridge? No. You don't want to step into those. What did I drop on the ground there? Casings. And it looks like it's the same again over here as well. Nothing in the fridge, okay. This is where it all happened, people. This is where it all started. In places like this. Looks like we've got a terminal over here. Nothing else but a terminal. Interesting, I haven't seen a room like this before. We do have some basic um, computer skills. Let's see if we can... Use this. Bypass security. Hang on, we'll quit for now. What is our computer skill? One. No, we're not going to do it. Um, there's a chance that we could set up an alarm and 
man hex can drop from the ceiling and start to slice us to pieces. There's other kinds of robots as well that could be activated. So, for now, we're just not going to worry about it. But there's part of me that wants to peek downstairs. I'll peek, I'll peek. And I don't have my flashlight activated, so... Labs are very resource-rich places. Um, you can find a whole heap of incredible things, but there's also a lot of very bad things down here as well. We've actually come into it in a pretty interesting point. We do have a man hack and a zombie scientist. I think these are things that we can take care of. I'm probably actually going to try and shoot the uh, man hack. We've got skitterbots as well. Okay. Let's just see. Let's see what happens here. He's going to be bashing away at that for a while. I want them to come and attack me. Well, actually, I want, to, I want to shoot that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to hit it very easily. Oh, I take that back. I hit it. <laughs> We're going to activate our sheath, get the Nodachi out. This thing can stun us. Man, we, we smashed that to pieces. Uh, we do have another man hack. That looks like we're going to have to take care of. And another few skitterbots, actually. Ow, 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 ow. That man hack just made it over here. I'm going to activate the sheath really quick. And get ready to fire. And I don't think I used my holster before, so... We'll just hit wield. We're going to take our time. Get that up. And it's actually got a lot further away, but... Damn it. There we go. It's making a lot of noise, but it's just a safer way to make sure that we actually hit them. I could probably just try and shoot him through this as well. We'll wait until we're completely confident, and then we're going to take a precise shot. Damn, it still wasn't enough. Okay. Well, while we're making lots of noise, let's continue to do so. There we go. Reload it up. Activate our holster. Put that away. Actually, let's just keep our hands free for the time being. We're going to try and climb this. And we fall. Let's try again. And we made it. No, we don't want to step into the acid splatter. I'm kind of hoping the acid splatter is just going to go away soon. We found a burnt out bionic in here. But, uh, nothing else. Principles of effective communication. I think I've already read that. I think I have, yeah. Well, it's actually grayed out, so yes, we know we have. Or we're not going to gain anything from it anyway. Jerry can. I'd like to take that, but... No. Why don't I have a crowbar? That's a really good question. We're going to make a makeshift one. There we go. so that we can crack open these crates. There we go. We've got RAM and a ceramic armor plate, lump of steel, batteries, chunk of steel, batteries. What else have we got down here? I really was not planning on doing this at all, um, but you can, you can explore the lower levels, like this, the first level at least, in relative safety. Um, it starts to get a lot colder the further you go down into labs as well. I found myself wandering around with a duvet on. Seriously, just wearing a full-on duvet when I've got down to uh, lower levels. So, it's... Yeah, we're probably not going to explore outside of this main room here, just because I don't think Noah's quite ready yet. She will be soon, but I don't think we're going to go beyond this first little area. See if there's anything here we can use. Does not look like there is. This will have a lot of crates in here, but I think we're just going to try and take care of those skitterbots first. So let's get that Nodachi out. They can stun us, so it's something to watch out for. We collapsed it. We actually smacked that back. And did it die? I think it died, yeah. So we've got broken skitterbots, so we can actually, we can, I mean, they weigh heaps, but you can actually take them apart and get a number of cool things from them. There's a, there's a gate there, dude. Just, uh, just open it up. 
You're gonna wait for me to come through, aren't you? Yep. That's what I thought. Yeah, I'll butcher you though. Looks like there's a big engine here, a big generator. And a broken console. Let's open this up. Okay. Let's use that makeshift crowbar. See if we can find anything useful. We got some batteries, okay. That's good. Oh, and a few other things as well. I'm not actually that interested in them at this stage. Whoops. A spring and a chunk of steel. No. We just need to smash this crate now. Might take a little while actually. It's taking ages. There we go. Just so that we can get at these back ones. And there's nothing there. Quickly check these ones here. And yeah, nothing of what we are after. Well, like I said, I'm not going to explore more than more than this room just for now because I feel like that could be a big mistake. So we're not going to do that. Although we're going to check this room. <laughs> I'm bad. Yeah, that this will this will literally be it. I won't go any further than this. Yeah, I'll oh, we'll leave all that there. But I am going to grab that with my hands. And carry it back up to the truck. Ah, uh, I did not mean to go that way. Just going back up. Just going back up. Oh! It's actually still day. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, there's spore clouds around here. We do not want to hang around. No siree, we do not. So we're going to get rid of these other bits and pieces that we have. Flashlight's still on. I have taken note of that. Make sure that I rectify that. By turning it off. Let's put our Ruger back. Well, I think that's going to wrap us up for this one. We... <laughs> We got into a few fights that I wasn't anticipating, but that's okay. That's kind of all part of the game. We are going to continue on down to the refugee shelter to see if we can finish off that first mission that we had. And who knows, we might even be able to buy a rifle. Because I do not want to be fighting these guys at close range. We can always scout them out. It's always an option. But we're going to leave that till next time. Thank you all for joining me. I've been Rykon. This has been Noah. You've been awesome. And until next time. Stay tuned.